It allows surgeons to heal hearts without breaking bones. Tonight, NBC 11's Health Watch reporter Marianne Favreau shows us how patients are benefiting from this new procedure. Marianne? Well, surgeons at Alta Bay Summit Medical Center in Oakland have successfully performed this new technique now on 60 patients. And instead of a foot-long scar to remind them of their surgery, patients have one that's only about three inches long. Okay. Huh? Margot Geiger of Oakland was battling oh, breast nice. cancer oh, when doctors hit her with even it. more Thanks. bad news. She had a tumor inside her heart. It was about the size of a lemon. Wow. She needed open-heart surgery, so which usually heart, requires the, the cracking of the breastbone. Because of the fact that my uh, resumption of breast cancer had come back in my bones, my bones were very brittle, my ribs contained many, many fractures, and therefore cutting through the sternum, which I gather is the traditional heart surgery, was not an option. So cardiac surgeon Dr. Junad Khan at Alta Bay Summit Medical Center decided to perform a new minimally invasive open heart procedure to remove her tumor. Instead of making a foot log incision from the neck to below the rib cage and cracking the chest bone, he made two very small incisions, one below the breast and one in the groin. Dr. Khan also uses this technique to repair and replace heart valves using a tiny camera to guide him. For patients, the smaller incision means a shorter hospital stay. The recovery has been much faster for our patients. When we've done it this way compared to the old-fashioned standard way, we've had a large number of our patients leave in two days, 48 hours after surgery, where in the old-fashioned way, we used to have to keep them around for 7 to 10 days to recover. Notice in port access procedure, it requires up to two additional hours on the operating table and poses the same risk of death and complications as traditional open-heart surgery. But infections associated with cracking the breastbone are eliminated, and patients can get back on their feet more quickly. I was out of bed the next day, walking. Now, Dr. Khan has performed this procedure on patients ranging in age from 17 to 84. He says it's not a technique that can be used during an emergency. I'm Miriam Favreau, and that's tonight's Health Watch. All right, thank you. Uh, you know, I felt well enough to go to Asia to try to keep up with President Bush, and we're going to go play golf tomorrow, so I'm, I'm not in too bad a shape. I feel no, good about it. You should have seen him going town to town, country to country. Energizer bunny here killed me. But uh, so if this thing, whatever he's got, if it, it knocks you out, it had not got to him yet. Since undergoing quadruple heart bypass surgery last September, Mr. Clinton has remained active, walking up to four miles a day near his home in Chappaqua, New York. But recently, he started feeling discomfort in his chest when walking uphill. Doctors say an x-ray revealed the rare complication that resulted in a partially collapsed lung. This is not an emergency. This is being done to assure that he is able to continue to maintain a highly active lifestyle and that he's not at all functionally limited by his lungs. Doctors expect a routine operation and several days of recovery in the hospital. This kind of thoracic surgery is not uncommon. Junaid Khan is a cardiac surgeon at Altabate Summit Medical Center in Oakland. He says Summit performs hundreds of similar procedures each year and that complications such as President Clinton's usually occur in about 5 to 10 percent of heart patients following surgery. Usually, typically, they'll put in a couple of cameras, maybe a camera here and a couple of instrument uh, access areas to drain the fluid, break up the pockets, and leave a few tubes in. If everything goes according to plan, usually the patient's in the hospital one to three days after this kind of surgery. Former President Clinton plans to slow down for the next couple of weeks, but he says he's anxious to get in and out of